nothing can stop me, I'm all the way up All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another rugby related video. Today's video is just going to be a, a, some thoughts. You know, I'm not going to really show you any skills, it's just going to be some thoughts on a particular part of the game that you guys need to get down. You need to get it down early, and that is being able to play with the ball in two hands. Now, I am sort of talking to more so your backs, more so your, your, you know, your fly half, second five, center. But everyone on the field should be comfortable with the ball in two hands. And the reason is, it's not to make you play any better, because it actually, it's probably gonna make you play worse, because, you know, everyone can run faster. We all know that we run the fastest with the ball in one hand, and that is what a lot of people do. Just, just you know, unintentionally, it just the ball just gets tucked under the arm and that's it. What that can lead to happening is, obviously, the ball getting punched out by, by accident. Uh, you can lose the ball. Um, you know, you can just straight drop it. Having the ball in two hands gives you that security, it really does. If you're gonna come into contact, you can then tuck it under the arm really nice and solidly, go into contact, drop, and continue to recycle the ball. As far as, you know, what, the, the main thing I wanted to talk about is what the defense is thinking. When you've got the ball in two hands, the defense does not know what you're gonna do. You could, ha you could just be standing there, okay? and the defender would be hesitant to come up and tackle you because he knows that you can either go left, you can go right, you can step, you can kick, you can do anything you want. And that is the advantage of having the ball in two hands. If you're running, if you're running with the ball in two hands, man, the world is your oyster. They, they don't know what you're gonna do, they really don't. So if you have a preemptive move or you have an idea in your head that you're gonna do, um, for example, a backline move, you know, Hold, holding that ball in two hands is, is really going to put your players in more space because the defence is not going to know what you're going to do. The only time I would say stick the ball under your arms and pin your ears back is when you're in the clear or when you're on the wing, you've, you've been past the ball, you know you've got to get to a certain point in the fastest way possible, but can put that ball under your arm, specifically the arm that is away from the defence. If you're running down the right hand try line, there's no point in having your, the ball in your left arm because the defense is going to be coming in from the left and it might you know, knock the ball out. If the ball is in your right hand, you can still use your left to fend people off. Once again, if you're running along the left hand try line, put it in your left arm uh, and you can still have your right arm free to, to do that. Practice. Practice running around. Practice doing steps with, two, with the ball in two hands. Usually, I'm running around with the ball in one hand doing steps, you know. Practicing goose steps. But if I have the ball in two hands, I can not only practice the steps, but also passing, I can practice dummying, I can practice all sorts of stuff, so, you know. So I hope you guys got the gist of that. I don't want to try and show you any moves or anything like that, I want you guys to practice it. I want you guys to practice having the ball in two hands. Specifically, if you're about, if you're going to pass it to the right, you probably want it more so like that. So that you can use that bottom hand to then spin it. You know, all of these skills, all of this shit that I'm teaching you guys is all about, it's not about getting your game perfect. It's all about, it's about adding certain little things to your game so that then they just come naturally when you play. Putting them all together, guys, all of them, every single one of my videos that I've put out, if you put all of those skills together, you're gonna have a great time all right so that was me that was why I like to hold the ball in two hands or at least practice holding it in two hands because in the game situation if you're holding the ball in two hands and running towards the defense and shaping up to do other things the defense doesn't know what you're gonna do you're gonna be a fantastic player you're gonna open up your teammates for space and they're gonna love you for it so with that said guys I'll see you in the next one peace